Mike the Ref Maloney, Big Bad Boris on the call here tonight. It is perfect. Let's go! Let's go! Third. Let's go! Super kick party! Yeah, pay the money for that. No one got And of course, you gotta get the coffin skin. Hey, yo, 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 and away we go. Hope everybody is doing great this Wednesday af afternoon slash evening, depending where you are. Uh, Mike the Ref once again here for our Wednesday Night Dynamite. We're just over six minutes away from the first ever AW Dynamite from England, so hence the uh, comment pinned in the chat there. Uh, no spoilers tonight because, well, frankly, uh, Collision's sort of fair game because they usually pre-tape a lot of those. But uh, Dynamite would try to keep it the same as always here. No spoilers in the chat as we're going along here. I, I've just heard, I just heard it was sold out. Sold out. Crowd was crazy. And, and it's going to be a lot of fun tonight. We got Darby and FTR versus the Elite. We got Claudio versus Okada, which... It's going to be bonkers. We got, uh, well, it's going to be bonkers for a different reason here. We got Sor Soraya and uh, Tony Storm for the Women's Championship, which Soraya's going to get her night in the sun, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Hey, Jay Quick, how you doing? We're going to get a couple contract signings tonight. We're going to get... Uh, yeah, Claudio Okada is going to be absolutely freaking amazing here. It is going to be a lot of fun for what we're going to be uh, getting a chance to see. And the fact that they have a sold-out crowd is is the thing I love the most about this. I know that the building's only 4,500 or whatever. I don't care. If it's going to be sold out and it's going to be loud, we're going to have some fun here. But speaking of having some fun coming up, I just want to get this plug in now. Wonder if Claudio called Mr. Moxley. I think Mr. Moxley's sitting at home. You don't need to be there right now. Just a reminder, everybody, we are going to be here on Sunday morning for All In, starting at 11.30 Eastern, 9.30 Mountain. I'll be in there around that time. Everybody pop it in here. We're going to have random people pop it in all over the place here. Kayla, J, Zodiac, and McG are all confirmed to be coming in during the day. Now with Twitch's new uh, knocking on the door feature, hell, anybody could come in here for all we know. So make sure you stop by. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I, I know a lot of people are cutting down there. Like, let me quickly throw this out, some technical stuff here. Twitch threw out this new option now where you can actually hit the knock button on the, uh, on the, uh, I think it's right by my name if you're on desktop. And it will uh, produce, it, it will send that signal to me that you want to come on stream. So I can actually bring you up at any time. It saves having to try to book somebody and bring them down. You want on, you get on. Uh, for anybody going to try and do that tonight? No, nope, we're not able to do that. So, Oh, Wales is going to go nuts for the Swissman. I think they're going to go nuts for Okada. It sucks that we don't get Pac, uh, Pac on the pay-per-view. Maybe we'll get him tonight. Maybe we'll get him on Saturday. He could be one of those two two teams in the uh, the six-way for, or sorry, the the match to determine who's going to get into the four-way ladder match going up on uh, Saturday. So I know that. Uh, they had uh, Michael Oku on for a dark match, so I'm not spoiling anything on the TV. Michael Oku and Amira were there for a dark match there, and I I think there's many ways that they those two might be signed AEW here sooner than later. But yeah, it this whole card's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, those contracts went. I'm sure they always go. Eh, you know what? 
we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I think Tommy Billington should be getting a little bit of a pop here too. I think it's is it tonight or is it Saturday? I think it's Saturday. We get Jericho versus uh, Billington on Collision. Or does he get on tonight? No, it's tonight. That's right. They're doing that tonight. Yeah, because the segment for that feud is on Saturday. Is Big Bill versus Hook. Okay, that makes sense. So, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun, too. So, no, I, I got a feeling we're going to have a fun time here with everything on the card. And it's just been a very good week, a very positive week. I know that there's a lot of negative all over the place. And I know right now that there's a lot of talk. Uh, maybe Jericho will get lost in Wales. <laughs> that That's a two-ended joke. I don't need to get involved in either side of that. So, we'll just leave it at that. Um, let me just clean that up there for a second. Yeah, we're there. There's a lot of positive coming across all over the place here when it comes to AEW, whether it's the all in announcement in Texas, the, the pending, uh, signing with WBD. I think it's almost guaranteed. We're going to get the announcement on Sunday. They say it's a bunch of red tape right now, which could very well be just the uh, just a little nimmer nammer there, just to get things through to Sunday here. Also, uh, I'm probably gonna ask this a little later on, and forgive me if we're gonna ask this as we get going here. But you think we're actually gonna get a Taylor Swift sighting on Sunday? Because I I feel we will, just because. Uh, the relationship with Jeff Jarrett and whatnot, and the fact that Taylor's working Wembley Stadium right now for uh, her concert series, as we're getting into Dynamite right now. Add a boy, now they're still uh, doing an overrun on the. Uh, they're doing the end credits of. Uh, yeah, yeah, get through the end credits. Let's go. There we go. Dynamite is up. They didn't script the video completely. Man, I love seeing a building filled like that. It absolutely looks amazing. And once again, Mercedes and Brett open the show. Takeshita got announced for the uh, Maple Leaf Pro Show. I I don't know if it's going to be a pay per view. Uh, Jay Quick, I I know they're taping it. I know they're tr they're going to be doing something with it, but I don't know if they're actually going to be doing doing the pay per view. It's on Trailer Live. Okay, I will shut up now. It's one thing about newer promotions. Sometimes they just don't start that stuff or they don't do that stuff early. It, it, like put the stuff on pay-per-view because they need the uh, infrastructure and whatnot. The doctor will see you now. <laughs> I have a different video. Very happy to see Brit out here. Like, I know there's been a lot of BS about the... Uh, the whole suspension thing, but I think it was a little bit blown out of proportion. And also the fact that, you know, yeah, DeBoer was like, he wasn't, yeah, fair enough. So the fun part about this is they could actually edit out stuff on this. DC wants to stick it. I honestly feel that, you know, no matter what you're doing, there's going to be a certain level of wanting to stick it to somebody about something. That's always going to be 
part of it, right? It's always going to be something that's going to be... That's going to be a key factor on a lot of things. So it, it's always an extra little bit of motivation to do that. So this almost makes it... Is it going to be a foregone conclusion that the TBS title is going to open the pay-per-view? I would think not. Like, that's one of the most anticipated matches on the card. I don't know if you want to do that to open it up. I could see it. I just... Boo! No physicality. I'll only give it a half boo here. Well, we know who the crowd's behind. Do you see Zack Sabre Jr. as a way to wrestle? Yeah. He's one of the... Uh, I love the five people trying to chat CEO and no he's doing it. Hey Ed, good to have you here. You know, just, uh, I know you got me on mute. Appreciate having everybody here, whether you're doing live or you do it there. Yeah, he's going to do this shot at King of Pro Wrestling because he wants to, he wants to be able to come out to the, uh, The first, uh, or it's, he wants his first defense to be in Britain for the uh, New Japan show in England. So it makes sense why he wants to do it. And it also, it's going to be a rather confusing situation because the next night after Wrestle Kingdom is that, uh, that crossover pay-per-view, like the Forbidden Door show. So winning the championship at Wrestle Kingdom and then having to fight in that AEW pay-per-view might sort of take the luster off the title win for him. It almost sounds as bad as a CEO chat, Mercedes. What's your problem? I knew I loved English crowds for a reason. I wonder if TBS is muting this. Oh god. Too many three letter initials? <laughs> TBS not muting it? Cool. Cause that that's been one of the biggest uh things about USA. It's when they start doing chants like that, they don't uh they mute it all, so it just sounds weird. This one is a real toss up to on who's going to win. Heard every fan in Wales not liking the CEO. Yeah, like. I wonder if we're going to see number two on that list.
Yep. All right. Mercedes, you called yourself the blueprint. Matt Morgan might sue you. <laughs> Nor be yet. Uh oh. I think now that they've gotten out of the states, and I don't know if British, fa the DNA of TNA. Yeah, I remember that. Huh. All right. I, I love. I think now that they gotten out of the states, and states is really Twitter driven. I feel with the crowds. I think. I think in England they don't worry about it as much. Whereas Bernie Mercedes, yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> she didn't hit Mercedes. <laughs> Yeah, well, Bischoff can say whatever he wants. Like, so one thing I said, like, when it comes to North American, North American social media, so much about uh, the clicks, the the jet, the buzz, the generation. Out here, they just want to see good wrestling. Like, what they get this what two, three times a year? This kind of quality here. Because what, they'll get one shot, maybe one shot at the O2, one shot at Wembley. <sighs> what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, 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 GP. Try contract never say great. Absolutely. Yes, he is. Oh, this reads Jericho wins, I think. I, I think this... Sorry, Renee, you have to interview... Yeah, like... Renee just spending her... I'd like to get a counter. I think what I'm going to do when I get the new stream going here, I might actually set up a counter for how many times Renee has to stay straight faced so she doesn't get, doesn't completely crack. Renee calls Cincinnati. Hey, it's okay. We got this. You want to hear a pop? You want to hear a pop. Here comes a pop. This could be a lot of fun. Because, yeah, literally all you have to do is, like, 
you, you just got to imagine this guy, like I've, I've had a chance to meet Tommy Billington once or twice. I'm not going to say I know him that well, but he, re he really is one of these guys that, you know, is really driven. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Mox would say Claudio could handle it. Yeah, pretty much. Never wanted Hook to beat Jericho so bad in my life. Yeah, like... I think that's what, what we all want. And I do think Taz gets involved. So, Billington went to the white tights tonight. That's... Basically... Ex his uncle had two sets of tights, the whites and the blues. I, I love that Billington so straight faced through this whole thing. And Jericho's like, what? You could wrestle? I love it. I, I can tell this is going to be one of my favorite crowds. Just because literally everything they're going to say, just, you know, just. So small yet. Compared to Jericho? Like, I get Jericho's not the... Yeah, I think Taz... Get, I think Taz comes in and throws a Taz mission on just after uh, Jericho says something stupid to him. Gotta love the European dropkick. A Pittsburgh Penguins jersey in England? Ew. The pop for the te exactly. Like anybody that isn't a, isn't going for popcorn or whatever is gonna get a give a big pop to that. Because as much as I hate, I I hate the fact that Hook is getting stuck in this situation. He's gonna get stuck in a popcorn match. Oh, here we go. They should tell Best Me if it can survive. <laughs> yeah, no, we're we're not gonna steal catchphrases here. So instead of picture in picture, we get full commercial tonight. Either that or I hope they figure this out. So yeah, we're go we're gonna be getting full commercials tonight. It's not the best thing in the world, but you know what? For one week, we can handle it here on uh, ye old uh, ye old uh, dynamite here. Yeah, in America, you got picture in picture because the ads that you're getting on your screen are paid for by TBS. Unfortunately, they don't pay TSN the same same for them. Usually during the live broadcast, they'll have their own set of picture in picture videos for, to cover their ads, but unfortunately, we don't have that here. So, this week's going to be an odd week because they are, this is a tape broadcast. So, can we get Jericho off the TV? Well, I just did for three minutes. So, I call that a win. But now hits. I, I love the fact that Billington's getting the opening match tonight. Just keeping this crowd hot, keeping them excited, and getting a good story out right away. Because I think the main event match is probably going to be Claudio and Okada. 
and then you get the top of the second hour you do the six man tag with uh, FTR and the Elite or else you do or else you do Saray and uh and Tony Storm this is one of those days where you really can't go wrong with the car that you're going to do just because you have so many the fact that Nigel's the moderator for Swerve and Danielson, I got a feeling that N Nigel's going to push a whole bunch of buttons. And it's going to end up with uh, Danielson going after Nigel and Swerve going after Danielson. And that and it's going to end with Dan um, Danielson down and Swerve on top. And it... The story writes itself. Like D Danielson has said more than once that he is more than willing to lie. He is a great liar in this business. So all this stuff he's talking about how he wants to quit and all that stuff, I don't believe it for even a quarter second. All right, we're finally coming back here. Oh, the double cross body. Ugh. I don't care what anybody says. That is rough. Yeah, he definitely has a body weight advantage. I don't know which way you want to. That's a polite way of saying he's fat. And I know fat. Trust me. I will say Jericho has been keeping up on his weight a little bit more. I know a couple months ago he did look real. He looked, I don't want to say rough, but he definitely looked a lot worse than he does now. I'm still giving him zero credit for wrestling ability at times. Oh my god, he actually hit it. Somebody go get yourself a lotto ticket. Jericho hits the lion salt. Big Dosser? What? Okay. No, it... When it comes to the history of Billington, like all the work that he's done up here in Nor in Canada, learning from Brett and just taking the taking the experience in, it was absolutely great to see him up here. Plus, it makes sense to have Nigel. It's his home country since they had JR do the short interviews. Um, yes and no. I just don't think the face-to-face -face should be moderated, period. Just let them... They don't need any help, right? Like, you're trying to tell me Brian Danielson and Swerve Strickland can't talk? Like, come on. I I'm just excited for Sunday to see exactly what we're going to get. Because we got so much potential coming. Uh, Jericho, just don't don't pull the cell spot anymore like you like you won because we already know the truth. Over the top, lining up. Oh my God. Tombstone pile driver. Plus the possibility of the announcements of potential returns and debuts on Sunday. Yeah, like. Oh, Billington made a mistake. Oh, 
gets picked up, put in the walls, that's it. Jericho's up. Uh, I think we all saw that coming from about 16 miles away. Unfortunately. You know, as Billington just gave a nice little tap on the arm with a thank you. But he had he had to have help to win this. Jericho not a. Why are you giving him a microphone? Please don't. Please don't. And get ready for hook. Yeah, he's got to be coming out for this. <laughs> I think we're all Taz right now. Why do you say those words? Taz, go down now. Doesn't need to. Here comes Hook. I love the fact that he's wrestling about two hours from this and he's already, well, he's not in gear, but... And he's like, all right, you said you're going to do son. Let's see you do it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so Bill gets hook on Saturday. I'm not spoiling anything. All I'm saying is I heard uh, the pop for uh, Bill was insane. You can take that 16 ways whatever way you want here, but he's had uh, so many pops as a heel that... Oh, once again, we get another ad coming up here with DraftKings. Almost be interested to see what kind of bets they got going on on DraftKings there. Just for just for AEW. Because there's a lot of these matchups that are just straight up, who knows what's going to happen. Um, just so we can get ahead of the ads here, while we have a commercial go on, might look on Sunday. Why not? Some of them might be very straightforward. Some might not. Like, Brit Mercedes isn't. Uh, we got, uh, yeah, like the main event isn't. Tony and Mariah, I think, is, but I don't know if anybody wants to admit it. But yeah, I'm going to throw a quick uh, one minute, 30 second ad here so we can avoid the ads as long as possible here. And for those hanging around here with the uh, subs or the turbo, um, yeah, hype. Sunday's going to be a lot of fun. Like, I know we're going to talk a lot about what's been going on with wrestling. We're going to watch the show together. And uh, AEW's got a real chance here to make a real statement. They, they've always had this chance, but it just seems like it's exponential here as things go on. Because you got... Uh, you got the world title match. You got the announcement for the TV deal that they could throw up there. They could throw up another, like, they can go to say they're going to Sydney for a pay-per-view. They could say they'd be coming to, to England for an earlier pay-per-view. They don't have to run all in here. Like, they literally could run every pay-per-view, like, two months from each other in a different country. It would suck for the U.S., but... If you want to be all lead around the world, that that definitely could be a way to do it. 
And it just be amazing to see what we could do here with, you know, all the potential that comes up. And the biggest thing for me is I just want the bickering this just to slow down. I know it's never going to stop. Let's let's face it. Like when it comes to wrestling and, you know, fans opinions, we're we're going to have different opinions about who's better, who's what what's good, what's not. But this incessant beating on everybody for things that don't have anything to do with the actual matches. To me, that's the part that drives me nuts. Like, if you want to argue about a card looking stupid, I'm more than a fan of that. Yeah, if I can make some money watching the show on Sunday, it's when we're chicken dinner. Absolutely. Cash in if you can. Because if DraftKings has a couple bets, like, I would think a lot of those matches aren't going to have very good odds. Like the ones we were talking about before with uh, Mercedes and Britt, with uh, Swerve and Danielson. This is going to be sort of amazing here. Two ladies that are going to get a huge pop here as they come out. Title time! I honestly feel that, you know, the, the last... Uh, I think this will be the last time that Tony wins as champion. I, I think Mariah wins on Sunday. Just the, the way that the story's playing out and from what I've understood about the movie, Tony will get a will get her revenge story out of it. Last wrestler to beat Tony. Yeah, that's true. But look, quick shout out to Harley Cameron. Like I put, I posted it on uh, X earlier today. I think one of the top talents that has uh, taken advantage of the post punk era is Harley Cameron. Straight up, male or female. Like when she started. So they're saying Soraya didn't get a rematch. That's why, why they're doing this. I think it's basically, yeah, like they're trying to make an excuse for it. Mine is just, you know, she wanted the opportunity to wrestle in her hometown. She, she called Tony out and Tony accepted. She wanted a warm up to take on Mariah. You got you got to love it when uh, the girl from Australia who trained in England is the uh, is this her last match? Is the last match for Saray with a? Con I don't think it's her last match. Period. Last match with AEW, maybe. I think she's another one that just you know. It just didn't work out. She just wasn't ready for... The thing about AEW is the fact that the level of competition is so high and it's so... so strong overall. And she just wasn't ready for that. Like, there, most matches do have a very high pace to it. Plus her fuse view was a standard bear and yeah, like well hell, if anybody puts puts a sub up tonight, you'll see the first promo that she had in that feud. Cause I know I clipped that as part of uh part of my alerts here, so But 
But no, uh, do I think she'll go to WWE? Probably. But having these two working together, like, if she's going to go out, this is a hell of a match to finish it off with. She was just not ready for the level, and she's never been able to get into it. Like, like when it was Soraya, it was uh, Tony Storm, and it was Ruby Soho. Like, or, like, look at that group, and it should be an absolute dominating faction, but... And once again, full commercial here in Canada. Big L for the AEW in uh, Canada here. I think it's a big L for TSM, but I digress. Can't wait for next year when they finally get this moved over to uh, Sportsnet. Because that's the big... Myself, personally, we're talking about this TV deal with Warner wbd if they could get it the big reason why i am looking forward to that deal is if they announce wbd is securing the rights to AEW for a long time sportsnet's already announced that they've secured a contract with wbd for all their programming as their contract with wwe is uh, expiring so There is a pot, and I do believe they're going to lose. Uh, more than likely, they're going to lose the UFC as well. So we'll we'll see how things go there. But plus, I wonder if she was worried about re-injuring or so. Absolutely, like it doesn't. It it almost just doesn't feel like she's had the development that more more often than not that we want to see from her. Like I want to see everybody do well. There's no questions about that. But it just didn't seem to click here. And if she stays, if they can use her in a good spot, great. If she leaves, I hope she enjoyed her time here with people. And I hope that she gets some work elsewhere, namely in WWE. I hope it works out for her there. Either way, I don't care. Yeah. Like, and once again, like Jay Quick... I, Sean Ross Sapp is pretty much the only source that I'll securely listen to unless I know somebody personally. And yeah, I, I know that Tony Khan has one in his hands. They've said basically it's just red tape right now that they're worried about. So we'll, we'll see how things work. And let's see who shows up here. Like, let's face it. We're going to see some new... It's undeniable we're going to see some new names come out on on Sunday whether it be for the men's, whether it be for the women's. What if, and I'm just throwing this as a crazy what if, what if Rebecca Knox showed up? Just what if? What if Jamie Hayter comes back? Like, our women's division here in AEW, or sorry, the women's division in AEW, is just humming. Like, the AEW world title is more of a... If Rebecca shows up, it's her versus Mercedes. Uh, absolutely. You got your TBS title as the uh, Showtime title, and it makes sense. TBS wants to be represented by the biggest names out there. While the AEW world title may necessarily be the ones that have the less... Da less flash and more dash right? if you get my drift here not saying Mercedes or Brit isn't a great wrestler but they're the ones out there doing all the media spots they're the ones doing all the per the uh, personal uh, appearances Mercedes is the one that's in front of all the Boston sports teams when they're out there she's the one she was the one who went to Wembley or to uh Arlington Stadium to throw throw out the first pitch and help with the announcement of All In Texas. It wasn't 
Tony, it was Mercedes. Plus, Sunday could be the end of Stokely when Ishii gets... Uh, yeah. Ooh, if, if this uh -oh. was a apropos for anyone, that is the ultimate. Oh, Tony got a rope. Stokely can't quit. The only thing I'm disappointed about with this whole thing is the fact that we haven't gotten Stokely in any of the Rocky vignettes. Go fight Nana. <laughs> that I, I think Nana would clean his clock, to be honest. Just have a little bit of his personal coffee and go from there. Well, welcome everybody. Good to see everybody here tonight. But I like the fact that Saray is getting time here, right? Like, even if it is, like, we're, we're speculating that this could be it. She's having a hell of a match. Power Rebecca shows up and shocked WWE would at yeah. Hey Vic, how you doing today? Hope you're doing well and hope uh lip lock into the storm zero and good night, nurse. And if that's the way that Soraya's career ends on Dynamite, and join the cameraman. If that's how Soraya's career ends out in AEW, you know, it. there's worse ways to go. If she sticks around, great. If not, and she wants to go back to, to WWE, it'll be interesting to see. We were just talking about her contract. Just saw sheesh, yeah. So, McG! Great to see you here. Long time no see. If she sticks around, she won't be a main event. No, like, she'll be there more for Harley than Harley will be there for her. This truly is, and chat, please correct me if I'm wrong here. Is this not the best built feud in AEW over the last year? This has to be. Hi, Nigel. Yeah, well, Nigel ain't coming out to the main, so. But this has to be the most well-developed story. After Swerve Hangman? That I can that I can go with. And the fact that they're carrying out Swerve Hangman for another week. The rumor is they're planning on Swerve Hangman for Chicago, so could we have Swerve or Hangman make it to that main event? Could Hangman be in the guy? I think good. I'll get to that. I want to listen to this. Holy crap. Proliferation, proliferation. I love Briscoe with a mic. And then she's like, okay. And 
everyone's like, I really don't know what to figure out with this stuff. But yeah, it this is gonna be a lot of fun. I can't with Kyle. Like Kyle's one of the best. Let's just face it here. She's like, we're still yeah, like there is so much to like about let's face it, there's so much to like about the AEW roster, period, but the conglomeration. Briscoe just throwing out random promos. Kyle being the funny man that he is. The funny part is, like, we got this Stokely, uh, Statlander, Nightingale, Ishii thing going on. I don't think anybody has really gotten into a real mean pocket on that because I don't know if Statlander hasn't been really that, like, her her moves have been vicious, but the way her... The way she say, the way she talks, it's like you almost, she almost doesn't sound like a heel, right? You got to use Stokely as the heater for her, and it almost like it, it's almost turned into a comedy heel kind of thing here. Is she not understanding a word Briscoe says? Absolutely. I don't think he cares. He just wants to fight. He's only around for a couple more weeks anyway, because. Now that the G1's wrapped up, uh, they're probably going to run back to normal shows. So Ishii's probably going to get a run back at. Uh... He's like fighting me. He's like, fight me, fight me. Anyway, fight me, fight me now, fight me now, fight me now, fight me now, fight me now. I, oh my God, I'm sounding horrible there. Before, let me get myself off of that. Let me just, I, I got to do a cheap plug during the commercial here, folks. Uh, just a reminder, if you're going to be around on Sunday, we are going to be here for the all in sidecast, uh, Kayla J Zodiac McGee, all scheduled to be here. And I will let you guys know now, thanks to Twitch's new knock feature door is open. If anybody wants to come in and chat for a few minutes while we're here, it's a breakfast stream for me. It's nine 30 in the morning, our time. It's 1130 in the morning, your time, Vic. By the way, if you're done your fantasy draft and you want to pop in for half an hour or whatever, um, there is a new feature on Twitch called Knock. Uh, you can literally knock on the uh, knock on the Twitch streamer now and he can let you into your, let them into your stream. So I'm leaving that wide open for anybody who wants in here on Sunday. So, because I'll guarantee you, if you're going to start stuff, we got four others here that will uh, end it in a hurry wonder if callus goes to cash to the more period absolutely you'll be here hey like i said whenever you feel like it i'm gonna make sure everything's set up so everybody can be here well yeah anytime anybody wants to come in and chat some wrestling we're gonna I've almost got the overlay done where I can do this week in and week out for everyone. Oh, this, this match, like this match here, Osprey MJF with, with all due respect, take out the caliber of wrestling and just go with the build. This match has absolutely no, no, no reason to be as big as it is. But you take the personalities that are here, you see what they're doing. I've been watching uh, MJF daily on the uh, WrestleTalk uh, videos. He's been their American correspondent for the last couple weeks. Like Osprey's a wrestling hero in in England, right? So let, let's face it, Osprey Osprey for England is what Kurt Angle was to to WWE, right? Yeah, like Let's face it, MJF is going to be the most hated man in Europe. 
for for like the next 96 hours like straight through until sunday that whole show is going to be like and i know i mentioned it before i want i want to bring it up again I, while we got some people in here i pray i hope I hope with every fiber of my being, and I know this sounds cheesy, and a lot of people will hate me for it. I really do hope that Jeff Jarrett's babysitter shows up. Like, get her own box, but have her on there. Do you know how much publicity that would do for AEW for the fact that she's there watching the show? Like, don't get me wrong. The wrestling's going to bring him in, but Taylor will bring him in. The wrestling will keep him there. They're going to love him secretly. Yeah, well, every, I think everybody does at this point. Like, let's face it. MJF in maybe... Five years, he's going to be Moxley. He's what Moxley is right now to AEW. He chucked his gum. I don't think Adam Cole, Adam Cole, I don't think is fond of him. No, not at all. And I, I will say this, Adam Cole was in, uh, was at home today. Because uh, he was streaming uh, Wukong Fallen Dynasty today, and he can't uh, you can't fudge that because the opening day was today of that game. So we'll have to see. I'll just watch by the stream schedule to see if he's going to show up or not. I think he might actually be a Chicago debut. Still time for him to get there? Yeah, but we'll see. <laughs> Shout out to Bingo Halls. Bar that's filthier than the wine. Okay. Gotta love the English references. I don't get it, but I'll take it. Bang and the dirt is gone. All right. Uh, you know what? If it gets over in Cardiff, I'm good with it. MGF going to get the Dom treatment here. No. Hey, Zodiac, I you. I need a translator. I don't know if we want a translator on here right now. Cute little flip merchant.
I think we all can understand what he's saying now. Now, good to see you here tonight, Zodiac. Hope everything's going well for you. Yeah, we kind of figured that. Because they had no feud for him. WBD plug here. <laughs> he doesn't even know what Bellens means, I think. Oh, this is great. This is great. Just... That's exactly it. Everybody preferred pro wrestling. Cheap pop for the for the chant. You know, you know what the sad part is? He's speaking the truth right now again. Yeah. Question for you guys. Thank you, TBS, for not censoring Chance. Absolutely. Let's give him a coin for that. Quick, uh, quick question for you guys. Last year's show at Wembley, what do you remember the most about it? Because I don't think the main event is the thing you remember the most about it. That's the exact point, Zodiac. Like, seriously. Two friends, what? What the main event did he watch? <laughs> no, there was a guy named Punk on there. Yeah, that that's... Uh, I hate to say it, but yeah, that's a lot of what a lot of people remember. I'd have to say, if you're going to remember two matches at that show, one, Osprey Jericho... And the other one, Bucks and FTR. Like Cole and MJF, if there was more of a story around there, right? Yeah, there was Osprey W against Jericho, exactly. The guy's got the garbage cans out, so this he works even better here. Plus the four way. The thing for me is the four way women's match was way too short than what it should have been. I appreciate Soraya coming out to to Queen. I appreciate. Sheeta gained the chance to come out in front of 80,000 people as champion. But that match was only 10 minutes. Then the Mercedes spot, yeah.
Well, this crowd's letting him know who he is. This is hilarious, really. Jericho announced he's signing himself to the ring again on. Yeah. Yeah. It's an MGF promo. Of course, it's going along. Him and Jericho need a class about shortening promos up. Okada, Okada come out and cut this? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. Somebody hit someone. MJF, you talk too much, bitch. You said the best in the world, he's in WWE? No, 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 please, no. Wait, he's not Roman Reigns. It was 102,000 in Texas Stadium, wasn't it, for Mania 32? And his name is Roman Reigns. Oh, that move's getting pulled out. <laughs> Something like that, 102,000, 200,000, whatever WWE wants to say. <laughs> Fair enough. Is this going to be appetizing for somebody trying to turn on at the top of the hour? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Zodiac. Like, This doesn't get an uninformed watcher to get the pay-per-view exactly. Daniels comes up. <laughs> I think the fact that they're not doing this live, they've lost a sense of timing a bit. Somebody kicks somebody in the nuts and let's end this. Somebody come out. Let's discuss wrestling outlet rankings, bruv. Let's discuss time, time cues.
This is turning into Jericho territory here. All right, here we go. This is going to end in a hurry. I like the, I like the story. It's just shrink it down a bit. Uh, here we go. This is how we end it. I'd take the fine. I'd take the fine. <laughs> He's gonna be like, take it on my salary. That white line, it's almost Sunday, yeah, like. <laughs> it's worth it! <laughs> Just laying the boots to him now. I love this. Have Fletcher hit him? Of course the ring. At least to finish with something, yeah. Shivani might pay the fine. Hell. I, I guarantee you get a GoFundMe, you get about, you know, $80,000 put up together right away. And, of course, once again, Osprey wearing a white shirt. Does so anybody else here find it interesting that he's gone to the uh, Adam Cole brain buster to finish things off? I think Mox would donate to that GoFundMe. Absolutely. He's going for the Tiger Driver. And Daniels is there too. Daniels going to get hit. What's the word on Cole's recovery? Slow. I know he was streaming Wukong Fallen uh, Dynasty today. Yeah, they could be. They could be. Like, I eventually think that's going to happen. I think it was sort of intentional that the ROH uh, tag titles were taken off the Undisputed Kingdom. In the last Texas show to uh, Sammy Guevara and Dustin Rhodes. We were talking about it on Saturday during the sidecast, but we're, uh, we're probably looking at uh, the Undisputed Kingdom hanging around more on the main roster, uh, more than ROH. So it makes sort of sense that you get eventually the Dark Order could take the titles off Guevara and Rhodes. So, but 
as the ads are going to pick up in about two minutes and we're in the middle of a commercial break now, I'm going to throw this now. And now, Daniels, how were we five minutes ago? Exactly. I'm going to throw the ads up right now just to save us the headache. Um, but yeah, welcome. Thanks for hanging around, everybody. I appreciate everybody in here. And uh, while we got those on, and sometimes they're just audio, they're not, you can see the video still. Just a quick plug here as we go along. Coming up this Sunday, we got the All In Sidecast here uh, featuring Kayla J, Zodiac, McG. I know, Vic, you said you're popping in here, HBC Bad Guys. Uh, I got an open door policy here for Sunday. So we got room for five people. So. Uh, with the new uh, Twitch uh, knock feature where you can just literally knock on the door to come in. We are going to be ready for a hell of a show. We'll have people going in and out of here, you know, like, let's face it. We're going from about, well, 1130 to essentially be 1130 to 5 Eastern. I don't expect people to sit here for six hours to watch wrestling nonstop. We might have people popping in and out here, going for whatnot. And it's going to be a hell of a show. It's going to be a great time. But yeah, it is going to be a blast having everybody here. Going to have the new overlay. The new overlay is about 95% done. I just have to get the uh, multi-streaming part or the multiple guest uh, scenes done. And then I should be ready to go. It's been a lot of work these last few weeks. I, I'm not going to be completely done, but I'll be done enough to, you know, make things look beautiful. So, but once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. Uh, uh, after we're done here tonight, we're going, after we're done Dynamite, we're going to go to uh, WWE 2K24. We got our own go-home show. Nobody else will get some. Jay Quick, we still got our main event segment tonight. We got uh, Danielson and Swerve with Nigel Common, Nigel doing the uh, moderating, right? So, I unfortunately, I think we're going to be going over time here. But yeah, after we're done here, we're going to go to uh, WWE 2K24 and our go home show for uh, our Fast Lane PLE, which will be on Sunday or this Saturday. Sorry. Saturday after collision, we'll be firing up the PLE. There it is. Oh no, he's dead. So Hangman wins and he gets in the main event. This is my whole theory. He wins, he gets in the main event, he actually cashes in for the main event that night so it becomes a triple threat. Danielson ends up pinning Hangman once again costing Swerve the title. And then you have the ability to have Swerve and Hangman run in Chicago. That that's my long term predicting for Sunday. Thanks for coming, Evil Uno. As long as he's okay for his Twitch stream. He's been doing a lot of Elden Ring lately, so. Oh, this is this is just going to be fun. Sit back, get your popcorn ready. And just get ready for two people that, you know, should have had this fight a long time ago. 
and could main event pretty much any pay-per-view that they want outside of Vince's because Vince is an idiot. Like it, it's fun watching these people jockey for position as we're getting back to the C2 coming up this fall again. Darby gets a title shot at Grand Slam. Yeah, like this is how you get rid of those title shots instead of having them backloaded. Because realistically, the winner of this gauntlet gets a title shot, right? Well, oh, they didn't bring the full intro for him. Wales doesn't get free money. I can understand. They're just doing a one-off night here. and Sorry, Wales, you know. Well, when Tony Khan heard that it was pounds that they deal with, um, he thought that he had to bring meat over. So he brought Claudio. Sorry, that was my way bad, poor attempted humor there. But yeah, this match, we've been waiting for, like, it's almost a shame the fact that they're doing this on a Dynamite, but let's face it, Dynamite has been doing this a lot, period. And he brought the mule in Jericho, yeah. From the very beginning, they've been doing this every week, like pay-per-view quality. Ma that speaks to the roster, right? Oh, they're doing the all in Texas promo now. Glad to see the Blue Jays blew a uh, 6 nothing lead on the day that Joey Votto announced his retirement because he couldn't get into this, this series. Once they get the monthly PLEs consistently, they'll slowly stop doing that. Uh, I don't know about that. I think there's some on the, ro on the roster sitting at home not being used or injured. I know we're going to talk about it a little bit more uh, after after all the announcements come down, but I seriously feel like there's going to be an unannounced brand split coming up here. Probably, probably after all of Chicago, we have a set of titles that run on. Uh, run on collision and you got some that run on uh, on dynamite like for example the women's championship I think Mariah is going to move to Saturdays I think uh, well Jack Perry is pretty much going to go to I would assume he's going to go to collision just because collisions on TNT right I think AEW has to be going if they go to Max and they get their streaming deal and the pay-per-views go on there and it manages to go on Crave here in Canada or even hell, put it on Sportsnet Plus. I'll pay the 20 bucks a month. I'll live with that. But yeah, I forked over 70 bucks for All Out and All In here as uh, the combo package. By the way, folks, if you are getting it on Triller, if you have a Triller streaming, if you have a Roku streaming stick or a Roku TV, get it with that. If you got Roku, get the Triller app on your Roku and go for the deal there because it is cheaper on there than it is on the website. 
if you're booking the pay-per-view. I found that out during the last package that they did. They're going picture in picture. We're going full commercial here. Or not. All right. But yeah, uh, currently for this for this two pay-per-view pack. Okay, there's the commercial now. Uh, for this uh, two pay-per-view package, uh, I paid $69.99 for the two. Uh, if you go to the website, you if you go to the website, you pay $9999 US. If you go to the app, you pay $9999 Canadian. Oh, and another thing that I'm getting into burning my britches, getting angry. Wrestle Dream has to be the first pick. We'll see. Like I said, that until the deal's settled, I am not going to count on anything. But uh, one thing to give you guys a heads up about, and this is goes for all of Twitch. They just announced it today. Starting in October, the in many countries, the rate for uh, the cost of getting subs on mobile is going up as much as 30%. I know in Canada, they're moving mobile subs up to... Uh, ten ninety nine for uh, for us here in Canada. If you if you use the mobile, if you use your computer, uh, it you don't have to pay as much. Uh, Apple is insisting on some of their programs now to. They're insisting that the thirty uh, percent tax that they put on all the programs are being put in. Patreon's going to get uh, caught with that as well as. Uh, No, no, it's going up. Uh, yeah, you don't sub on iOS. Sub yourself on uh, on the old uh, desktop app, or just don't don't do it if you have iOS, <laughs> or or even uh, I know the same things, the same thing on and Android as well. But also, they just announced today September deals. So, starting next Friday, actually, um, there's a discount on subs for the entire month. So, if you want a sub now, feel free. Don't mind. But if you already have a sub uh, on a recurring basis, which I do truly appreciate it. If it expires sometime between now and the end of September, I could consider canceling your membership and then signing up again. Because you'll get 25 to 30% off depending how long you want to sub for. God, do I love Claudio and his suplexes. Sorry I got off topic there, but this... With, with everything coming down, it just... Yeah, I want to make sure I got that news out to everybody just so we don't have any issues here. God, Okada's face is brilliant. That look of pain that he has on his face after that suplex. God bless Claudio. <laughs> Just the way he scoots right around uh, Remsburg the way that he does. So we get Pac, Wheeler, and Claudio as the team against Top Flight. Okay. Pac might still get his Wembley spot. Pac might be joining the BCC, maybe? Whole lot of wrestling this show. Collision, All In, Raw, plus New Japan show next week. And TNA show next week. NWA, Bash the Berlin. And then All Out the week after, right? Like, it's what I said before. I'll say it again. I'll say it forever. If you are a fan of wrestling and you cannot find a brand of wrestling that you don't like right now, that's a you thing. That's not a wrestling thing. Like, I, I really do appreciate the WWE and the wrestlers in it. 
I like AEW because I have a little bit of ADHD, I feel. And I can't be sitting around for an hour watching watching promos. That's why that MJF one just ugh. I think Claudio tried to get Mox and Mox was like, no, I'll be back. I think they're just trying to get Pac his uh his match at Wembley, right? Like they couldn't get him one last year. Here, take Pac. <laughs> oh, also, Pac's losing his tag partners. Like, let's call a spade a spade. Like, he's lost the Lucha Brothers. Because there's no way Tony Khan's going to put the Lucha Brothers on TV after some of the stuff that's been rumored to happen, right? Because even if it's rumored to happen and people take it back... It almost, uh, and so far I'll cut it up. No, he won't be. He'll show up during the, uh, he'll show up possibly for the tag match maybe, but that's about it. I think the Lucha Brothers are going to go, are going for the paycheck and won't be used. Eh. You blame them? I don't. If they're going to get paid, let them get, let them get paid. I will never. And, and this is something that drives me nuts. And being in, being a former Oilers fan, I'm hearing it all the time in this town. People getting upset because two free agents signed offer sheets here by St. Louis. And we ended up losing two of our first round picks from previous years. Like, si simply put, if you're going to be offered triple the money that you're offered at your current job, are you not going to go? Like, eh? Here, Okada, eat the uppercut. Eat the uppercut. Phoenix could use the exposure. He's a generational loot. Absolutely. Like, Phoenix right now is what everybody thought of Rey Mysterio in 96 when he was debuting in uh, WCW. The only difference is now the bar is higher at this time. And once again, so just so you guys know, if you're in the States right now, you guys are getting picture in picture, but because it is a tape show... They're giving us full commercials instead, instead of the picture in picture tonight up here in Canada on the TSN app. So I'm basically watching a car commercial while you guys get to watch the match. So if I'm not focused on the match, that's why. But uh, yeah, like Okada doesn't need to be on this card. And that speaks to the depth of the talent on this roster. Like, I, I would like to see a Jarrett uh, a Jared Hangman match here at All In, but we're not going to get that. An Impractical Joker's... We got about three seconds of that, then it sh changed to a full commercial here for us. Remember, this isn't the first time Pac team with a BCC. No, absolutely not. But you also got to remember at All Out, uh, we're probably going to get... Uh, like, based on my predictions, I think we're going to get Osprey and Pac at uh, Chicago. Because I do think Osprey wins in uh, in England here. I think Jared ends it. I absolutely know Jared will be in there. Because Jared... Jared, this is the one time in his career he's getting legit over-the-top pops. Like, it's been forever since he's gotten uh, support like this from the crowd. Even in his impact days, he even when he booked for himself as champion, people weren't over. He wasn't as over as he is now when it comes to all the action there, right? That'd be a great match for Pac and Osprey. Yeah, like you're going to have that for Chicago. 
quite often you do not have the world heavyweight title in Chicago for this. Pay- like, remember last year, the main event for All Out was actually Orange versus Mox for the international title. I very well think you could have the international title main event that card once again. If you don't make Swerve and Hangman that. Could you imagine, and just throwing this out here, and I know it's going to scare a lot of people when I say this. What if they do Swerve versus Hangman, loser leaves AEW? Could you imagine the internet blowing up. And I'm not talking about leaving, leaving for ROH. I mean like leaving, leaving. Number one, nobody would believe it. Do and I quit? I don't know if you'd ever, I don't know where they're going to go with that. Like, seriously. Yeah, Hangman will win and Swerve leaves the company? Like, every, like what, is he going to team up with Shante Adonis over in NXT again? So while we're here, wonder what women's matches will be at all up. Um, one for sure is uh, Statlander Nightingale because the winner of the uh, the winner of the uh, the zero hour match between uh, Ishii and with Ishii and Stokely the winner of that gets to pick his stipulation for the CML title match at uh, at all out between those two so Does the Cody in Stanford? <laughs> I love when he tells the camera to politely get out of the way. And Claudio just said, nope. Stanland, I mean, I have Stokely when Ishii is done. Well, thing is she could have Trent back because right now Trent's out with an injury he might be back soon there's another guy that's on the rock on the on the rocks right now Claudio, my God. I was going to say, how long are you going to stay up on that top rope? Nice drop kick by Okada here. Just want a Briscoe promo at all. And I, I guarantee you, everybody in the conglomeration, save maybe Ishii, Ishii might not be. Uh, might not be in the gauntlet, but the rest of them will be. But here's the thing, and this is some remember you guys gotta remember the last time they were on, on pay per view. Um Ishii will be too busy having a snack. The thing you got to remember about uh, AEW's pay-per-views, no promos. If, oh my God. Okada being swung, is that, is that a beginning of a tornado if you're swinging uh, the Rainmaker that way? Jesus, 20. Twenty revs. It's a Swiss tornado. (laughs) 
Hey, Dodger Baseball, how you doing today? Do oh god. And there comes Okada with a drop kick. Gosh dang it. That made Swiss dizzy, I think so. Oh my god! Are we gonna get a new title? If you play Oh Fortnite? No, I haven't played it since that night that we had it on. Played the new season that one the first night it came out, but other than that I haven't touched it. I really like it though. From that first night it was a lot of fun. Pretty sure the video will be up next week for you guys if you're interested. Sorry, cheap plugs I am. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a 20-minute time limit in these matches. There you go. Thank you for the air horn. Are they going to take time limit out of this to all in? I don't think so. No, I think Claudio ends up in the uh, ladder match. And he falls out of the ring. I missed the part, but that's my problem. Smarter than ever here. This is the part where that's my problem. I weaseled out of that. O Okada eventually got a date with a cleaner, maybe full. It is so hard to figure out when. When we're going to see uh, Omega again. But this is the rules of the Continental Classic, right? 20 minutes? Oh, they're not even going to do intros for the next match. I love the blue in those titles, by the way. The blue and the tag titles? Hey, KJ, how you doing? Well, no, because we have our match now. Dude, living the dream, yeah. We're having a lot of fun here. Like, Saray and Tony were a good match today. Even if it was. Like, you know, we're getting more ties. The more it happens, more. Yeah, but that's how you make things more realistic, right? So that absolutely makes sense. I appreciate that. Oh god, this is where we start the uh This is how we're going to start up the BCC versus the Elite. Here comes FTR and uh Now oh, here comes Darby. He bring us. What's he bringing out? 
They didn't let him bring a flamethrower across. I wonder what TSA would say if uh, Darby tried to bring a flamethrower through the airport heading out to uh, ye old uh, Wembley here. Uh, this, can, this will be quick but fun. Are flamethrowers even allowed in the UK? Well, depends how much snow they got to get rid of, right? Lux, you talk that ish when Daniels is busy and Mox ain't here. Exactly, like... Pfft. So now Okada and Cassian are going to fight on the outside all the way out. All right, we're just going to get a pure six brawl here for about 10 minutes. So going to Fan Expo and T.O. Oh. I know that uh, we're getting into the season where everybody's starting to drop out of uh, our Fan Expo here in Edmonton. It's almost a tradition here that every uh, every uh, pro usually the last week of August, you start seeing the announcements coming out. All right, this person would love to be here but can't. This person would love to be here but they can't. It ends up being like a quarter of what the original lineup was. Okada Claudio Iron Man match, please. You know what? One of these days, we're going to have to do some fantasy booking here just for ourselves. Like, come up with our own, uh, what we would do for an all-in card. and I'm going to keep writing notes for stuff for this. The cast of Leonard Kennedy, but that's what matters. Hey. <laughs> Thought about going Saturday. Make it a beam and via satellite and make that happen. Eh? I, I don't think, honestly, I don't think Kenny's doing a whole lot with AEW right now. I just think he's focused on recovery. If you guys didn't hear, they had to remove almost eight inches of his uh, large intestine, so... Honestly, he doesn't talk a lot about AEW on Twitch when he's on there. But he hasn't been on in a while either. Just because, uh, like you say, focusing on focusing on getting better. That's the important thing for him right now. And I hope he does everything he can to get better because we'd love to see him back. But yeah, for those... Uh, just a quick reminder once again if you're watching here in uh in canada we don't get uh we don't get the full picture and picture experience here so so yeah K kayla's got a qu great question here what match is everyone most excited for coming up i know that we talked about uh the mjf osprey match which the promo didn't sell me any more on the match. I know for a lot of people, it might have sold a little less. I, I don't think he drew in any extra vans, but I don't think he need to at this point. The Mariah May Tony Storm match to me is like one of the best stories going right now. Danielson Swerve. Yeah, that match there, like. Danielson's selling hard that he's not coming back after that match. Like, he is going every outlet possible just to let everybody know that he's not, like, he's done after Sunday. So. Everyone's, and that's the thing about AEW, like, and we were talking about it just before he came on here with the uh, Okada Claudio match. Like, AEW every week is just, Pulling out pay-per-view quality matches out of the rear end here. Literally every week. 
And I think that's where the strong point of AEW is right now. There is a bit of a weaker point with, uh, you know, some storyline development and whatnot, but for the most, they, they do have the stories, just sometimes the stories hit a little, little lack of polish there going around. So like that polish on the MJF, uh, MJF Osprey segment there, like maybe the polish would have rubbed off about 10 minutes off the, off the promo, but. They're coming back from picture in picture now. Yeah, I don't think the Swerve Danielson promo is going to go a whole lot longer tonight. I love how Darby just still keeps being that guy that's going to eat everything. I really do hope that coffin match is near the end of the card. Because I would like to enjoy my breakfast before uh, before it goes away. Nice counter and getting in Dax in there. Well, yeah, we got. Uh, We're, get, we're getting the opportunity here. We're going to be able to see uh, Jericho had a good, I have to say, a pretty decent match with Tommy Billington. Made him look pretty good. And, of course, Jericho took the win. Um, the promo between Mercedes and Britt. Britt sort of took Mercedes to school a little bit on that promo, to be frank. Not, not to the point where Mercedes looks completely stupid, but you could definitely tell that there was more polish on the promo with uh, with Britt than there was with Mercedes there. Hangman getting added to the gauntlet battle royal. Uh, I'm guessing he's probably going to win it. Either that or a guy like Lashley. Calling it right now. Lashley's going to be one of the names that's going to be pulled out for the Gauntlet Battle Royal. Or the Gauntlet match. You're going to see him. You're going to see Ricky Chet. Or Trevor May. And what seemed like an hour promo from MJF and Osprey. Yeah, like, that's what I was saying. At the top of the second hour, just, ugh. Mercedes still having promo work to do. Getting her a manager, Stokely MVP would work one. I think getting her with the Bucks, just let them do the work and she could talk after. I, getting her somebody like MVP would absolutely be great as well, but... I just think the Bucks would be the smartest pick for her because then she does need to be used a lot. I mean, the promo wise. Okay, we got a sharpshooter, a sharp shitter, and a scorpion deathlock. So at least we got one of each in there. And for the record, Dex has the sharp shooter, Cash has the sharp shitter, and Darby had the scorpion, obviously. We never have countouts in AEW. What are you talking about? We'll have DQs. We won't have countouts. You know that's not happening here. Oh, look at, oh, right in the yam bags. Or, 
Peanut butter, peanut buster parfait, not tonight. Ugh. Now I'm getting hungry. Thanks, Zodiac. Ugh. I'm more of a chocolate chip cookie dough blizzard personally, but. So, any bets that, uh, oh God. Any bets that we see sting inside the coffin when they open it up here at, on Sunday? Because I know, Jay Quick, you were talking about having Sting was reported to be going to Wembley, but. Well, we know who's losing. I don't think so. Perry's going to I think Sting shows up, but Perry is going to win it. I don't think that... I, I don't think the Elite lose their titles until Omega comes back, or they decide that Omega won't be coming back. So... For, for me, it just makes too much sense, right? And the fact that they keep reminding us that he's perfect in coffin matches, just say is it that much more. Bucks pin Caster, yeah, I I just hope Caster's the one that eats the pin. Period. Oh, this is hilarious. There is no pop whatsoever for Caster. I, I love how Dax is like, no, 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 no. We have no time for this. Oh, God. You do not talk about being the kings of wrestling. With Claudio Casanoli just out here and Chris Hero in the back, you do not talk about yourself being the kings of wrestling. One bit. That is as about as big a sacrilegious as you can get. So Five was reporting that Rich Swan has been suspended from impact and entering rehab after people have issues. I hope uh I hope Swan gets the treatment that he needs. And I hope everybody's okay based on the matter. I don't know what else to say about that. I don't, I don't like to bring up much of the negative stuff, but yeah, when it comes to stuff like that, simply put, I just hope that Swan uh, gets the help that he needs. Everybody loves the Bowens. Uh, and we still got one more segment left, folks. Who would have thought that a tape show would go over time? Thanks, MJF. I'm sorry, I'm not blaming Will. Will's at home. FTR's like, yeah, let's speed this up. He's trying to show the watch as in, no, we, we don't have to wait. We got time now. And he's more like, no, let's hurry up.
Well, he got the green light from the guy that got spiked the last time. So, hopefully that clears things up on what's going to happen there. But So, since I didn't get it, well, let me run the ad right now so we don't run into it while we're dealing with stupidity here. So, we're going to get to a climactic moment, so I just throw the ad right now. As we're getting to our main event segment, let me give you a quick rundown of what's going on this week. Uh, right after we're done here, we'll take about a five minute break. I'll get the Xbox set up. We got week 14 of WWE 2K24, my GM. Tomorrow, we got a couple things to pick up. Then we're going after Ganondorf, Tears of the Kingdom. I want to be done next week because the following Thursday is our annual NFL opening day stream. So which I'm going to get you guys to help me pick which game I'm going to do. I'll put a poll out there. We're going to either do uh, NFL Blitz 2002 or NFL Street 2. One or the other. We're going to, I'm going to open it up this year to have one or the other as part of our stream on the Thursday ahead of the Chiefs uh, opening up the season against the Ravens. Uh, sat no stream Friday. Saturday, AEW Collision. We're going to be here checking out the last little bit before Wembley. And then uh, after that, we have our own fast lane PLE on WWE 2K My GM. And then, of course, Sunday. Our all in sidecast featuring Kayla J, Zodiac, McGee. I know Vic uh, said he wanted to come in here. HPC bad guys. Open door to anybody who wants to show up. Just don't be a jackass. That's all I ever ask. And then we will be streaming Monday and Tuesday since I do have Monday and Tuesday off. Uh, TBD, I do owe you guys a uh, Backbreaker Fight Club stream, so it's probably going to be one of those. And just uh, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, make sure you're following if you haven't followed already as we uh, get towards... Well, we're on the road to 600 followers right now, so... And if you really enjoy what you see... If you're not on mobile, well, if you're on mobile, it's fine right now, but consider hitting that subscription button. Claudio, you and Hero jump to the acclaim for disrespect. Absolutely. freaking But, uh, yeah, we're going to have some neat stuff coming up here in the next month. New overlay should be, well, I, I got a little bit left to do. I'll finish it after stream tomorrow. Going to have the new overlay done for Sunday, so you guys are going to be able to enjoy it, it's going to be really basic for the uh, multi-stream, but I'll improve it as we go. And here we go. One of the greatest themes in ROH was the Kings Wrestling. Ah, it's freaking lootly. Oh my. Nigel and Daniel say in the same ring. Sheep. Glad to see Nigel dressed up for the affair, by the way. All right, let's see if I can get this down here. By the way, Tony, Sh Tony Storm and Jury shirt, shirt of the day. Forgot to be there earlier. And I swerve when I drive, and I swerve when I drive, and I took a little plane because I'm a little bit insane. I'm over here in England getting ready to win the title. I can't feel Nigel's looking ripped. Yeah, he, he's training for something. I, I just imagine what that something is. And that something's going to be out here in about three minutes.
just because I the end of the career has to be Nigel. It has to be. Like, it only makes sense. It's why it sounds so obvious that it, it sounds obvious, but it's not that uh, Danielson's Danielson's going to win on Sunday. Like, I don't know which way you want to go with this here, but It almost feels too obvious that it should be Danielson at this point. Or does Nigel cost him? Maybe, but if he costs him, then Danielson's done. I don't think you're going to get that, oh, we're going to beg him to come back for one more match deal. Oh, God. Hope Danielson wins. Sometimes you got to take the flowers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then you can have Nigel say I retired him. What I think happens is Swerve wins the title back in Washington. Then they have their final match with uh, Nigel, right? Oh, God. And yeah, Zodiac, you have a very good point about the uh, outgoing legends, right? Um, Nigel, did you forget about the other guy? No, he didn't. Say you want to talk to the champ first. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Hey, Jay White, I remember. Theory is that he's very close to coming back right now, so he might actually help with the, the ladder match on Sunday. Or he could show up in that gauntlet, right? And nobody in England cares. <laughs> I like this. Oh. Hey, 
I'm disappointed Anna doesn't have his coffee, or does he? No, he... Every time he does his promo, he throws his coffee out after, as soon as he starts to dance. Oh, I could just imagine if, if, if there was not contract negotiations going on right now, I think WBD be throwing a fit. <laughs> I love this. Nah, you don't want to pick a fight with Swerve? No. And that's when the threat of home invasion shows up. Danielson's not going to say a word this whole time. There's your psycho knee. I like this. Nigel, where you go? Why did you run? Did they, they actually censored the F word, damn it. That's why I love the BCC so much. You got Moxley and you got Danielson, like. Didn't he wear that shit when you were, t maybe. I think TBS since probably It's one thing I'm worried about with Danielson. Like if, if there was anybody that I think would die in the ring, I think it would be Danielson. Mox is like, I'm so proud. Mox is probably not even watching right now. He's like having a... <laughs> Another swear word, get over there. Wow. 
You know what? As much crap as, uh, you know, certain people gave this build. I think they finished it off perfectly here. One shot. And all they got was a Busaiko knee. Now he's just saying, look, I'm ready. I hope you're ready. Four simple days away here as we're going to fade to black here real quick. I, I have to say, this this has been a very... F oh, and TSN decided, no, we ain't waiting for it to finish. Let's go. Uh, yeah, tonight, very fun night of wrestling. The cars of the sure exactly the same as when he retired in 2016. Now, there you go. The thing about Danielson, always find the little details, right? So it lets people think that that might be it. A little extra tool there. But yeah, great card tonight. We had uh, we opened the show with the Mercedes and Britt Baker signing, where Camille got really ripped. Thought it thought he had short sleeves tonight. No, it was it was rolled up sleeves. I think. Uh, had the. Uh, had the uh, Jericho Tommy Billington match, which was really, really a decent match. Uh, ended as stereotypically as a Jericho match does. You had the uh, Tony Storm Soraya match, and like we were saying during the match, if that is Soraya's last match, she actually went out really well. There's been rumors of her leaving and going back, uh, to, back to WWE because just she hasn't been used. If uh, if she doesn't re-sign, you know, good on her. I hope everything goes well in WWE if she wants to go there. And if not, if she re-signs, then I hope that she's happy when she comes back with what's going on here. So we got Claudio and uh, Okada go 20 minutes. We had Osprey and MJF go 30. Probably felt like an hour, but more like 30. Uh, Six-man tag. You end up with Darby getting a visual pin over the Bucks, which take that as you will. I think the elite win. I think the elite win all the way across the board here, uh, coming up over the weekend here. But and then that last main event segment. Like, what else could you ask for? Danielson putting himself in a spot. I heard MJF and Osprey is still going. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. No, Osprey wins, finishing off with a Tiger Driver. I, I I see it happening easily. So, either way, I think it's going to be a, a very fun show on Sunday, and I'm really looking forward to having everybody with me here. As we uh, once again, we are going to have the sidecast here with uh, a with AW All In. I'm going to be joined by Kayla J, Zodiac, McG. The whole bunch of us here. Um, make sure you stop by. Make sure you say hi. I will have an open door policy. If anybody's got a cam and a mic and not being an idiot, I will allow you in here. So.